Welcome to the SD online classes. This is physics class 10, chapter 4, magnetic effects of current page number 99 of your MBAC textbook. This is the fifth lecture. Here we'll discuss what are the characteristic properties of the magnetic field lines. We have discussed what are magnetic field lines, how they are generated, whether they are real, imaginary and how it is useful. Now we will understand what are the properties, what they signify. Okay, what are the things they exhibit? The first thing that it has is they start from the North Pole and end, finish, end means finish at the South Pole. Suppose this is that magnet North and South. You have to write like this. It is coming out from here. So can you see, see the arrow coming out here and end here in the, externally? That means outside. External field means outside the magnet externally it goes from here. Internally, it goes inside south to north. Okay, can you understand south to north inside the magnet south to north you have to write So that is why outside you have to understand that it will come out from the north and go to the South can you see the direction like this any number of field lines you make you have to show the direction like this Not just like plus and minus you, you should remember n is like plus s is like negative minus okay just like that from the plus it will come out and it will enter the negative s okay so this is the first property this is how it shows first thing now second is it is it says the second property is like this the degree of degree means the extent degree of closeness of the magnetic field tells gives you shows you that the relative strength of the magnetic field is how much there. it is more or less suppose i have a magnet here north and south i have another magnet here which also has north and south suppose okay only in one i can show not two is not required this is the magnetic field you can see oh just i should not cut two two lines like this okay it will never cut uh, roughly I am making so it may not be very accurate suppose what is the meaning is that you can see here the lines are very close 1 2 3 4 only in this area 1 2 3 4 5 lines are going that means the closeness of the magnetic field is more here so that is why it is strong here but if you pick the same amount of area here you can see only three lines are going or if you pick here only one line is going okay only one or two lines so wherever the lines are many thick many hairs like going there you say magnetic field is strong there near the pole you'll find north pole south pole you'll find more lines near but in the middle part here you'll see less lines hardly one line going so these are the place where the relative strength relative strength means compared to this this place compared to this place this is called that is why it is called relative strength relative strength of the magnetic field here compared to here is more here it is strong here it is less strong this is the idea how we know from the line wherever that is thick lines wherever the hair is more wherever there is bald okay that part is less magnetically strong okay so that is, this is the second one now the third one is it says that the tangent what is tangent we'll know very easy tangent drawn on a magnetic lines tell you the direction of the magnetic field suppose if this is the magnetic field what is the direction of magnetic field if you are asked you have to tell that at any particular point at any point it is different everywhere okay because it is curving it is go it is not moving the magnetic field line is not going straight so that is why you cannot say it is uh, that direction or this direction it is changing continuously it is going up upward rightward and you see rightward downward leftward so here it is going upward here it is going left rightward okay here it is going leftward so everywhere it is changing its direction because it is moving in a loop way in a circular way uh, so that is why how to tell its direction you have to tell its direction where at a particular point here it is going to this way here it is going to up way here it is going to down way so how to tell you have to make a tangent here what is the meaning of tangent let's slow here quickly do this suppose you have a circle here you have already studied in maths this if you draw one line here which touches only at one point this is called the tangent if a circle is there you make one line which touches only at one point here this line is called the tangent of this circle similarly suppose you have a bar magnet here 
north and south then you have the magnetic field here now what is the direction this direction here is its tangent can you see if this is a circle like this is a tangent so this is the direction of the magnetic field if you want to show what is the direction here this is the direction of the magnetic field how i know by drawing the tangent tangent what is tangent circle one line which touches only once that is called tangent drawn to the magnetic line this is the magnetic line okay from north to south magnetic line is going on that line you make a line which touches at only one point only one point look at here here it is going upward here it is going rightward here it is going downward so these are the direction of the magnetic field which this indicates the direction of the magnetic field lines okay this is the third one remember the first one what it comes out from the north ends in the south the second one is what it says wherever there are more number of lines that is strong place wherever there are less number of lines you should say magnetic field is uh, weaker there third one it says the direction can be easily determined by drawing the tangent on their lines okay now the remains the fourth property which say that the magnetic field lines never intersect this is often asked in your exams also okay why magnetic field lines do not intersect or do not cross one you remember i i when while making here i said that it should not touch here okay two lines cannot touch each other so that is the fourth rule fourth characteristic properties of magnetic field line why it happens suppose you have one magnet it can be understood from the third one okay suppose this is the magnet this is the magnetic field lines this is the magnetic field lines suppose here i make a rough diagram Mag this is a magnet north south very small i have drawn magnetic field lines going out going out here suppose i have a wrong diagram here like this this is wrong why it is wrong i have to uh, tell the reason also why the magnetic field lines cannot cross like this okay you cannot never intersect it cannot intersect here or they cannot cross one another they cannot cross why suppose they cross what happened if they cross then the direction can be tangent here tangent here you see the direction can be two two directions the same magnetic field will show two directions which is not correct you understand if they intersect they will show two directions which is wrong that is why magnetic field lines can never intersect okay so if suppose two magnets are coming very near what will happen then it will modify suppose another magnet is here a magnet is here like this okay and another magnet is here i think i am drawing very small but it is possible suppose this is one magnet here this is the magnetic field lines another magnet here this is the magnetic field lines suppose they are coming very near what will happen this will go you understand it it should come like this isn't it but because of this this will also happen like this you understand it should go like this but because of its presence this will get modified here they will not try to intersect but they will move away from each other they will get modified okay this is called the magnetic field lines uh, demonstrated why they do not intersect the simple reason is if if it is asked why they don't intersect you have to say if they intersect they will have to show two different directions which is not possible so magnetic field lines do not intersect each other let us combine quickly all the things the first rule first characteristic show that it starts from the north pole ends at the south pole the second one says if there are many magnetic field lines that is very strong ma magnetic strength and uh, less number of lines weaker one the tangent will give me the direction wherever i draw a tangent per perpendicular line tangent line on this line going direction you will see the direction of the magnetic field lines at that particular point particular point particular point and the last one is that it says magnetic field lines cannot have 
two directions uh, cannot intersect each other or do not cross each other because if they cross if they do so the direction will be double there which is not possible so it cannot intersect they cannot intersect each other so these are the characteristics these are important characteristics to remember also and from for your exams also this one is usually asked these two things are asked in one or the other way okay so uh, this is all in this fifth lecture thank you